What's good, Hood Rich fan, man? It's your boy, Hood Rich Credit, back it again with another fucking banger, man. Look, y'all, man, I got the sauce for y'all today. Look, we're going to be breaking down some BOA cards today, Bank of America. If y'all trying to, you know, apply for some swipes with BOA, y'all going to know the whole guy, right? The Hood Rich guy to apply for some BOA swipes. So I'm going to be breaking down the data points. Me, personally, I don't have no BOA swipes on the business side or the personal side. But whoever's trying to go for BOA, you know, you're going to know the hood rich, you know, the hood rich guide. I hate stuttering. I take off my braces tomorrow. So it's all good, y'all. We're going to be straight. But, um, but yeah, man, I, ri I written down all the data points just so I won't leave nothing out. And let me break down the, you know, simple data points. So first of all, with BOA, they will hard pull your Experian credit report. So that is very important, y'all, because look, your experience always has to be on point, y'all. I can't stress this enough. Out of all three of your credit reports, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, most lenders will pull your Experian credit report. So that has to be on point at all fucking times. And the good thing about Experian, right? Let's say you've gotten multiple hard inquiries on your Experian credit report. It's all good, right? Because it's so easy to remove hard inquiries on your Experian, right? Because I know y'all don't want to have a lot of recent hard inquiries. Just to give y'all a little data point, you know, a little tip. You could remove inquiries off Experian very easily, right? So that's a good way to keep your Experian always on point. And what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, another uh, data point. No hard pulls for credit limit increases with Bank of America on the personal side and the business side. I'm going to be breaking down data points on the business side and personal in this video. But yeah, man, that's another good tip. And um, BOA has a, a 3 slash 12 rule, right? So basically, if you do not have a bank account or savings account with BOA, you will fall under the 3 slash 12 rule. So basically, the 3 slash 12 rule is you can only have had three accounts open within the last 12 months those are revolving accounts not only with boa but with all credit cards in general right so if you had three recent accounts in the last 12 months with any other institution um if you pass that three slash 12 rule you know you you're gonna get automatically denied right so <laughs> this is a good road <coughs> a good rule to understand and also boa has a seven slash 12 rule Okay, so that basically is uh, the same thing like the 3 slash 12 rule, but the benefit is, let's say you do have a checking or savings account with BOA, right? You're going to fall under the 7 slash 12 rule. So basically, if you've had 7 uh, revolving accounts, uh, well, that's the max, you get what I'm saying? So if you had 7 accounts open within the last 12 months, you get what I'm saying? It's just the opposite of the 3 uh, slash 12 rule, right? So it is that is very beneficial so if you do have a checking or a savings account basically a relationship with boa you'll fall under that rule so my recommendation is before you apply let's say you're trying to apply for boa and you have more than you know three credit cards in the last 12 months recently right you want to open a checking or savings account before you apply with a swipe if you really want to go with a swipe with boa right so you could fall under that 7 slash 12 rule so you won't get denied right so before you know you apply with boa that's the play and also too you can apply for two cards in the same day with just one hard pull and also you can only have two cards within 60 days so those are very important data points to know with boa right just so if you're trying to apply for two two swipes with boa right off the bat you can only apply for two in the same day and that is very good right because you just gonna get one hard pull that like most institutions big bank institutions they don't allow this right when you try to apply for one card and then you try to apply for another card the same day you're gonna get a hard pull with boa is the same it counts as the same hard pull kind of like credit unions right but with credit unions um you can apply for multiple other products. That's the why I like credit unions. So like let's say with credit unions, you apply for a credit card one day. They're going to use that same hard pull. Well, not all credit unions, okay? Don't get it fucked up. Like Navy Fed doesn't allow this, but there's certain credit unions you can do this with, right? Let's say you apply for a credit card. That's going to be a hard pull. But that same day, you could go for a line of credit. You could go for another credit card. You could go for uh, auto loan, right? And you won't get additional hard pulls. But this is kind of good. This is like similar to credit unions, right? You apply for one card, and if you want another card that same day, it won't be a hard pull. Good on Bank of America, right? 
So let me flip the page. Now we're going to go to the business data points, okay? Let me go to the business credit cards real quick. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, man. So uh, the data points with the business credit cards is going to be very similar to the personal side, right? So like I said before, before applying for business credit cards and personal, I recommend you opening up a checking and savings account, okay? That is very important. Um, that is going to put you in a very good spot. You're going to fall under the 7 slash 12 rule instead of the 3 slash 12 rule, okay? Just so y'all can avoid denials. I don't want y'all to get in denied, right? Because y'all don't know the type of info. So, the same shit, one hard pull for two cards falls under the, you know, business uh, side with Bank of America. So, if you're trying to go for the business advantage, and let's say you're trying to go for the business advantage custom customized cash rewards credit card the same day it will only count as one hard pull and it will pull your Experian credit report okay and what else limits will be based on your personal credit cards that is a very important data point to understand um something that i always told you in my old videos as well right is that they will like when you're trying to apply for some business swipes they're going to compare your limits on the personal type personal side to see what they should approve you for on the business side personal guarantee that is very important so if you have a high limit reporting to the personal what what, what, what makes you think you're gonna get a high limit on the on the business side right obviously because you already got a, a high limit on the personal now most likely you'll get a high limit on the business side you get what i'm saying these banks trust other banks as well, okay? That is very important to understand. So if you got a high limit with another institution, let's say a credit union you got a high limit with, Navy Fed, right? If you go with another credit union and they see that you also got a high limit with Navy Fed, right? They're going to check your credit report. They're going to most likely give you around the same limit. You get what I'm saying? Remember that. Banks trust other banks. So let's say um, with BOA, right? Let's say you got a swipe, a 2K swipe most likely they're going to double your limit right they're going to double or 3x your limit <coughs> on <coughs> on the business side so that is very important to understand with the business swipes these are all the data points for you know business credit cards with boa and also too with personal credit cards with boa i broke down both of them if y'all trying to go for some business swipes with boa or some personal size now y'all know the game now y'all know the hood rich god if y'all want more videos like this me breaking down institutions and their data points y'all let me know down under the comment section i will be doing this more often because i got some credit union sauce that y'all don't want to miss because like i said i love credit unions man and the data points with credit unions i know the games i know the ins and outs right so if y'all trying to do the same shit y'all trying to run up with these credit unions man y'all know what the fuck going on with them right y'all know what to do with them before y'all apply for some swipes with them you know how to garden with them before you apply for some high limit swipes it's just a whole game to it right so y'all let me know down in the comment section also to give me video ideas or whatever y'all want to shoot at me shoot at me under the comment section and yeah, man, y'all have a good day to hurry which way. Gone.